Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So this is a special request from Trisha. She is getting married in two years, so congrats, and you have lots of time to use your Cricut to make crazy things for your wedding. Um, but one of her special requests was to make a sign similar to the one that we have here. Now, since doing this sign, I was not able, and I have a new device, so um, I could not track down Delissa anymore on Defont. There is a Delissa on Defont, but it's not looking the same. So I found something, I'm gonna try something different. It's called Sweet Madeline from Creative Fabrica for the names. Now, this is one of the problems that I've had in the past is keeping track of my fonts. So if you haven't seen it, I love Creative Fabrica. Um, I am one of their affiliates, but I love one of their free programs. So this is free, <laughs> um, but use my link to open up your free account. But they have this app called Font Cloud. And so had I been using Font Cloud this whole time, I would be able to still use Delissa because what happens is you use Font Cloud. Um, whenever you download a font, you also upload it into, into Font Cloud. So Font Cloud stays with you. So if I go to my friend's house, I can log in on her computer. And if I want to use that font, I can go into my Font Cloud and download it to that device that I'm using. So it is awesome. I would not be in this issue. I would not have this issue if I was using Creative Fabrica. So that's my, I, I can't tell you enough. There, there are some things that you need to use and learn. And I promise you Font Cloud is one of them. Inkscape is another for the offset and I'll stop there, but let's work on this sign. So her sign is 24 by 36. So first thing is let's go into shapes, bring in a square and I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to go up to the size and I'm going to put 24 by 36 and actually I want it the other way. So I want 36 by 24. Okay because I'm pretty sure she's gonna have her sign going this way. Um, let's make it white just so that we have it and we'll put it arranged, send to the back, okay? All right, so I'm gonna stay in design space. Normally when we have um, script, like this welcome and the name and it's all connected, I like to do it outside of design space, but just in case you don't have font lab pad or font, Pad Lab or Inkscape, we, I will do it in here and show you how to physically move them. Okay, so let's go to our text and darn it, I've uploaded some fonts, so I apologize. Let me save this really quick. Save as, and I'm gonna put wedding sign, Trisha and Omar. So this is another thing, so I'm glad I had to do it with you guys. So I have I uploaded quickly Sweet Madeline, right? So let's go to text just so that I can show you. If you're wondering where your, uh, where your fonts are and if it's not in here, which it isn't, Sweet Madeline is not in here because I uploaded it and I haven't closed it and gotten out of it. So let's close it really quickly, quit. <laughs> you can see all my, so this is Font Cloud, okay? So Font Cloud, um, I typed in Trisha and Omar to see what it would look like so that um, that's another thing is you can preview all your fonts that you've uploaded. And so like, let's say you really like the way this look, King Basil, right? So you go over to King Basil, or I think you can click on King Basil, yeah. So you can test it out here, but see, you can download the font. So as long as you do your first steps of uploading everything into Font Cloud, which it's totally worth it, because then you don't have to keep track of your fonts anymore. Then you can um, just download the font here and you can see what everything looks like. So if you get out of here, you're back on your normal page and you can see, you know, welcome. And you can see all the different fonts that you have. So I, I don't have a lot of fonts in here. This is something that I recently picked up and I wish I had had it the whole three years that I've been using, you know, my Cricut. I wish I had had it here, but anyway. All right, so we've gotten out of that. We've downloaded everything. So let's do design space. Let's get back into it and then you'll see. All right, so here we go. Let's go back into our wedding sign. Okay. 
Okay, and I'm just going to zoom out so we can see everything. All right, so let's go to text now and pick Sweet Madeline. And there it is, okay. And on this one, I wanted to do Trisha and Omar. And if you remember up here are my little, uh, my little map or agenda here, um, the and sign. I use Desianti. So I'm just gonna type in Trisha and Omar, and we'll make it really big so we can see what it looks like. Now here, you guys can pick whatever fonts you want. Okay, so um, I see a lot of people, sometimes they leave it like this. Please don't leave it like this. It's, it's meant to be connected, and don't tell me that the customer wants it like that. Nobody wants their hand, <laughs> their scripty handwriting like this. Um, you can, first you can go to line space and you can decrease it, okay? Oops, letter space, sorry. And you can see it's starting to move over, right? But you're still gonna run into problems because if you see the distance between the S and the H, it's much smaller than my distance between the H and the A. So when you're doing this letter space and you're decreasing it, yes, it helps you a little bit, but it still doesn't help you all the way. So I just ungroup it um, and I'm gonna grab each letter. So if you hit your shift key while you move this over, it helps you keep the, the spacing or the, the alignment, okay? So here, I know this is a pain in the butt, but this is how I do it. Well, no, I don't do it in here. I would do it in Font Pad Lab or Design Space or Inkscape, sorry. Um, I don't like doing this, but I'm doing it for this one because sometimes people refuse to do the other ones and it's just the name and the welcome. So I'm, oops, oh weird. This one didn't, it didn't let me ungroup for some reason. All right, so I'm just gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna, oh, I can't contour either. Okay, so it won't let me, move it so I'm going to slice it out okay hopefully it'll let me slice it out so I'm gonna cover the H or I'm sorry the R and it won't let me slice interesting oh there that was weird all right maybe it was just the way I picked it up okay so here is my here's my A and then let's move this R over um, see, I hate doing this too because I can't see that well. <laughs> All right, so Trisha and Omar, let's move this sign out of the way for a second. Okay, um, let's go get our ampersand. So let's go to tax and change the font. There it is. Okay, and do my ampersand. All right, so let's make this kind of big. And again, this is up to you, like how big you want it or not, okay? So, all right, so here's our first problem is, and it was the same here. I had to create that little line right there. The O doesn't have anything to connect it to this and I think this is too big, hold on. Maybe something like that. Okay, um, so I think I'll take it from the eye. Okay, so I'm gonna duplicate this eye. See, I want it something like this, that O, so I'm gonna slice it off right here. So let's bring in a square. Okay, and we'll put it over the eye like so. And shoot, why won't it let me slice? Hold on. Okay, slice that two items so that you can have this little guy here. So now you can stick it there. Okay, and you can even 
rotate this a little bit higher like that. Okay, let's see how that looks, okay? Oh, okay, so let's see. If we kind of want it here, we're gonna move this one down a little bit more. You can do something like this and move this up a little bit more. Hold on, let's move this a little bit over there. Maybe make this a little bit, or maybe make this more down here. And we can move this eighth down. Or tilt it a little bit. Oh, my contacts are giving me a problem this morning. Okay, so we can grab, get rid of this. So you can see this is up to you how you wanna make it. But if you like it the way this is, or any other font, right, um, you weld it because you want it to be flowing all naturally one item, okay? So this will go down. And you don't wanna go all the way to the edge, so you wanna, we'll see how everything works. All right, so let's do our text. The next one is we're gonna do the word welcome. And this is, see, this drives me insane. I hate that Design Space doesn't do this for you. But it's okay, let's move everything over. So, now if you see from my notes up above, the two little swooshes, that's from I Love Glitter. It's free on the font, and I know that's still available. Um, we'll, I'll show you how to use that in a second. So you gotta move all your letters over. It doesn't take a long time, but if we were doing something that had a lot of words that needed to be connected, please don't do it this way. I promise you, once you do it, you're gonna love it. Okay, so let's weld that. Let's go to text, and we want to change this to I love glitter. And I love, as you can see from this, I love mixing up fonts. Like even in the names, like the, um, the and sign, I changed it to a different font. I just, you know, you keep track of what you like and what you don't like. All right, so the sign, um, the little swishies, um, they are the square back brackets. So to the right of the letter P on your keyboard, okay? You want that left bracket and you want your right bracket. Okay, and that's what those two look like. Um, okay, so maybe something like that. Look at how thick it is. This one needs to be added to the E, so let's ungroup it and see how that looks. See, that looks still a little bit too thick to me. So let's move both of them because we want both of them to be of the same. All right, that looks better. And then this over here, if that looks good to you, then let's weld it. Okay, so there's welcome. Now, we do want this to be, let me see how long this was. Okay, yeah. Um, you want this to be under 24 inches. You want it to be 23.5 inches or less because then you can do it on a roll and it would be continuous. You can cut on a 12 by 24 mat, okay? So that brings me to this one. That's gonna be also too long. So let's see, 23.5, okay. Um, okay, so to our wedding, all the print is Malgan Gothic. So let's change our text. And it's a Cricut Access text, so yay. <laughs> to our wedding. Let's see how, how big did I make that? So that is 0.8, but it's smaller than our sign, so. Let's see how that looks. Uh, 
Okay, and then you can, let's see, go to text, oops, sorry, and then type out September 24th of 2022. Oops. All right, so that's pretty much what it is. So let's grab all of this and arrange, or I'm sorry, align and we want to center horizontally so it all gets centered in the middle. Okay, so if we like it, this is it, okay? Now, what you wanna do is, let's see, let me just make sure that all my measurements are correct. So it's 24 by 36. This is, this will cut on, on a roll so, as well as this. I, you know, if you like how everything is centered, okay, then what you wanna do is I'm gonna put this aside over here, grab everything and duplicate it. And we're gonna go on this side. Now on this side, we're gonna change each one of these items. Instead of cut, we're gonna draw it, okay? And the reason why you wanna draw it is we're gonna have it actually drawn out on 12 by 12 cardstock and you're gonna lay it underneath your acrylic sign, and that's gonna be your ruler, your ruler. <laughs> um, so that way you can hold your vinyl super tight and taut and lay it down, it's gonna avoid the bubbles, and um, you don't have to worry whether like, oh, is this straight, is this straight? You're gonna have it taped underneath your acrylic sign, and that's gonna be your guide. So this is what we're creating on this side. This will be your cut cut in your vinyl, your gold vinyl, your metallic vinyl, whatever, that's gonna lay on top of your acrylic sign. This is gonna be underneath your acrylic sign as a template guide for you to lay your, your acrylic on, or your vinyl on, and it'll be super straight, okay? So we gotta change each one of these things to um, draw. So let's do that. Okay, perfect. Um, okay. Now on this one, we don't need this anymore. This white was just a template for us. This you're gonna cut in vinyl, okay? All right, this, I would weld it just so that it cuts out exactly like that. Or you could, yeah, everything's already welded by line. Okay, so that way, when you lay this on your acrylic, you're laying out the entire September 24, 2022, the whole thing's gonna be straight, it's gonna be spaced properly. All right, now let's look at this, okay? So this, let's bring in, so we obviously can't draw it as is one big gigantic thing, right? Because it's 36 by 24. So we're gonna slice this up, okay? So stick with me here. We're gonna bring in a shape. We're gonna bring in our square, okay? And let's move this thing. Let's go to position and just put it at round whole numbers. We're gonna round to the nearest whole number. So this is 42.7. We're gonna do it at, I should do it at 53. 43 and 39. Okay, so this starts right at the, right at the corner, okay? So this square, we're gonna make it 11 by 11. Okay, we're gonna put it here. And you're gonna go to your position feature and lay it right on top. So that's at 43, this should be at 39. Okay, so we have our first square. Let's duplicate it, put it really close by and round to the nearest whole number. So 54.167 becomes 54, and that's already at 39. The reason why you want this is we're gonna slice this up, okay? And hold on, let's grab all our letters. And attach it, because we want it to draw exactly on the paper as is, okay? So now we're putting it back. Go back to 43 and 39. 
and we're gonna put that behind. Arrange, send to the back. Okay, we're almost done, okay? <laughs> Grab this one, duplicate it, put it here, and then let's go up here and change it to 65. All right, so now we have three squares that are flushed, right? Hit your shift key and grab all three squares and duplicate it. And we're gonna put it right here, right underneath the first set, okay? And go around to 43 and 50. All right, so now we have our squares. Let's bring this sign up to the front, arrange, send to the front. So, okay, so we'll send it right back. Okay. So we're gonna grab one square at a time and our image. Hold on, that didn't let us do it. Okay. Give me a second. Let's go back to our square, okay, and detach it. And let's send this to the back. Trying to think if I needed to do something. Um, let me think about this. No, because this is so big. Hold on. Okay, so let's move our squares for a second. It's been so long since I've done this, so I apologize. I should have. Ah, undo, hold on. Let's grab all our squares and let's move it out for a second. Oh, what just happened? Okay. Let's group our squares so that they move together. Okay. Um, I think I needed to weld this for a second. No, that doesn't work. Undo. Okay, I think I need to weld. <sighs> hold on, hold on. Okay. Let me weld this. Okay. Put this back. And I think, let me see. I think I need to slice this. Okay. Is that what I want to do? This is so not good. I apologize. Okay. Let's move this back up here. Okay. So we'll change that back to um, 4139, okay. And let's move this sign to the back, arrange, send to the back. And we're gonna slice one square at a time. So let's ungroup our squares. And we're gonna slice it. We're gonna slice one square at a time, okay? And we only had six squares. We're almost there. That's what we needed to do. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, so now we can get rid of this. So here's our, I'm gonna move our squares up, okay? So this is our sign. Get rid of all of this. I should have watched my own old tutorial. <laughs> okay. Now, what you wanna do is you don't have to, and each one of these, I think now we can change to draw. That's what we needed to do. So it's gonna draw out for you 
on a 12 by 12 piece of paper, okay? All of these pieces. I'll show you what it looks like. So we're changing it to draw. <clears throat> Okay, so if you think about your acrylic sign, if you had these two, then you don't need this one because the welcome and the, the last part of the wedding part, it's all going to be on one strip. So these two will help you figure out that. This one will help you figure out, line it up with, let's see. Oh, we don't have anything to line this up with. It would just go right underneath. Okay, so you don't need this one and you don't need this one because if you have this one, then you have the date and the name and you have these three. So really you need to draw three, okay? So let's look at what we have. I'm gonna delete all this. Let's go to make it. So see on this one, it's gonna draw this square for you and this little swirl. That's the beginning of your welcome. You're gonna connect that one to this one the rest of the swirl to this one. It's gonna draw it out. Then you're gonna connect this one right underneath the other one. And you'll have your map of three that will help you line up your three rows, your four rows actually, right? And then this, you're gonna cut. This needs to be cut on a 12 by 24 mat. I don't know why it did that. Oh my gosh, okay, let's go cancel. It's glitchy right now. Let's go back to make it and see if it changes. Yeah, so now it changed. So see, this is gonna be on a 12 by 24 sheet. That's, the name is so pretty. Okay, so that's one thing. Welcome is gonna be another one. I don't know if we can fit it all on one, but we can try. If it's all the same color, let's see. If we can move object, let's move it to this one. And we can move. I think we can get this all to fit on a 12 by 24 piece of cards, uh, 12 by 24 piece of vinyl. Yeah. So make sure that nothing overlaps. Okay. But yeah, on a 12 by 24 piece of vinyl, you can cut everything here. When you go to apply it, I would apply it by line. So have the date, one piece, the word welcome, cut it right here so that it's one piece. All right, this is great. I hope this is helpful. Trisha, congrats. And I'm sorry I took you on a little bit of a detour in the middle. I was like, wait a minute, how would I do this? All right, let me know if you have any special requests. Um, I hope that was helpful. Again, apologies. All right, see you guys later.